Hello and welcome to South Today. Coming up tonight, calls for tighter security around mosques in our region following last night's terror attack in London. We should be united. We should care for each other. We should be united. And from there, we should, uh, we should be, as a member of one community, a UK community. And will a garden town plan make Digcock come up smelling of roses? Good evening. There are calls tonight for tighter security around mosques in our region following last night's terror attack in London. It's the third incident of terror in the capital in as many months. Last night, a van was driven at speed at a crowd of Muslim worshippers. Dr Sheikh Ramsey, the director of the Oxford Islamic Information Centre, has told the BBC he's increasingly concerned about incidents of abuse and intimidating behaviour. Matt Graveling has this report for us. Finsbury Park, London the latest location on a list of recent terror attacks. In the early hours of this morning, a van crashed at speed into people outside of a mosque. One man has died, several people are seriously injured. A 48-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. The Muslim Council of Britain have now called for increased security at UK mosques, including four here in Oxford. I never seen any police in the in the other three mosques. They should be. They should be present because uh, they they may come and attack. They may come and burn the mosque. We are very worried. We do not ask more. We ask just for the security which you get in. I get. Uh, everybody else is getting. Muslim want uh, security. Police are examining evidence of any threat to the Thames Valley region. They're also linking in to national intelligence and advice. Police are also working with communities and community leaders. Behind me is the Oxford Centre for Islamic Studies. We're 60 miles away from the mosque in Fimsbury Park where today's attack took place. But the impact of that attack is being felt here in Oxford. There is always a hesitancy and you know, a bit of, a, 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 of a, a feeling of not being safe all the time. So yeah, some sort of increased presence would help. Did you feel safe worshipping today? Oh yes, yes. I'm always here and quite safe. Yeah. So I think for the time being, we should have to improve the security of the mosque so to avoid any, you know, uh, unfortunate accident, you know, what is happening in London. On Saturday, Monawar Hussein was made an MBE for his services to interfaith relations and the community. Today, he recognised his role is now more important than ever. Politicians, people in power also need to be careful about the language that they use. Uh, I think I, here I, you know, especially during the referendum, there's been a lot of language used that's been inflammatory, that's been anti sort of migrants and so on. And that's kind of emboldened, I think, in a sense, far right extremist groups as well. Police are asking people to remain vigilant and continue to report anyone who they think is acting suspiciously. Matt Graveling, BBC South Today. Well, eight new projects have been announced with the aim of addressing some of the security threats to the UK. One is being run by an Oxford Brookes University researcher, partnered with universities in Coventry and the Netherlands. Earlier I spoke to Professor Juliet Koning, and first I asked her for her reaction to the events at Finsbury Park. Of course I'm horrified, with all the other people who are horrified about uh, another incident. Uh, it must be an extremely devastating and traumatic experience for all the people involved. But I also think for the public in general, the general public, because this is uh, a number, I don't know, in, in a series of uh, incidents. People will talk about it being another soft target. How difficult is, is it for the authorities to be prepared for something like this? I think that's a very important question and I think the answer to some extent also lies in the question and that is that it is extremely difficult um, to prevent events like uh, took place recently. Now, of course, we should not stop there, and that's one of the reasons why we uh, submitted a project that will look into future security threats through uh, imaginative scenario planning. Your, your research projects would be looking to uh, preempt something that previously we have been surprised by. I guess that's, that's the overall aim. So if you look at uh, the means terrorists use uh, in incidents and attacks, we can see they change and have changed over time. This implies that what we see today or happen today is not necessarily what will happen in the future. Now one of the ideas of future scenario planning is to, to think of, to think outside the box and also to think long term 
and they do that by trying to tell stories of how the future might unfold. And they will do this by looking at what we call drivers. Now drivers are things like climate change, global mobility or technology and you put that in the mix in order to, to, to see what might future scenarios look like and how can we then prevent them. Fascinating stuff, that's all we've got time for, but thank you very much indeed for coming in. You're welcome.